Steven here. I'm at Waterfront Park. Hopefully it's not too noisy for you guys. I'm partway through my evening bike ride. I'm just thinking through what we're talking about this Sunday, tomorrow, um, 6 p.m. in our Zoom Bible study. And we're getting toward the end of chapter 3 of 1 Peter, and we're talking about how our experience and this truth of God's uh, care and protection and presence with us in the midst of suffering, how we can find joy in the midst of suffering, how that impacts our relationships and our uh, conversations with the people around us. And I was thinking through an illustration um, of an experience that I've had that I've shared before in a previous video. Uh, in high school, I was on a soccer team. I was the only Christian on the soccer team. I was definitely treated differently because of that. I was mocked for being a Christian, a lot of different things. Um, but that all started because they saw something different in me. They saw that I had hope in the midst of pain, in the midst of suffering, even the suffering that they were trying to cause me during that time. And it got to the point with those same teammates during track season uh, that I experienced some pretty severe disappointment at the end of the season. Um, and I was, I was grieved, I was disappointed, I was discouraged, all those things, but they noticed in me that there is something more that I was finding my hope and my joy in. And through that experience, I was able to share my faith with them and be able to share why I have that hope. So the challenge for us this week as we're talking through this section um, is how are you living your life in a way that opens up those opportunities? Are you living in a way that people see something different in you? And we don't have to go around standing on boxes and declaring that Jesus is Lord, but if we live our life in a way that causes people to recognize there's something different about us that can open up conversations for that hope that we have in Christ. And then once you have that conversation, if you have the opportunity to, to have that question asked to you, how do you answer? Have you guys ever thought through what your couple minute testimony might be? Of if you're asked the question, how can you still have hope during, in the midst of pain, in the midst of sin, what would your answer to that be? So be thinking through that as we dive into that a little bit more in depth and more personally um, in this evening's Bible study, um, 6 p.m. on Sunday. Okay? Miss you guys. Hope you guys are doing well. We'll see you guys soon.